Hi, welcome to FLCC's Accepted Student Webinar and congratulations on your acceptance to the college and your choice to be here today watching this webinar and engaging with your next steps. My name is Katya and I'm one of the admissions counselors here at FLCC. Our job as an admissions office is to help you feel comfortable with next steps and to answer your questions about FLCC and make sure that we're the perfect fit for you and your educational goals. So if you haven't yet, I encourage you to be in contact with our office, to ask your questions, and to really take advantage of all the services here and all the people here that are, um, that are going to be with you on your educational journey. So as a community college, we have a bit of a unique mission. Our mission is to be with you on your steps through education and to help you be part of our community here and to take part in these learning goals that we've set up as part of our values. So these values, these learning goals are the following. Vitality, we invite you to see yourself as a vital part of our community, making a positive impact on your peers and on the overall environment. Here in the area. We invite you to exercise your curiosity by making constant inquiries and really driving the intellect of the institution through your explorations in the classroom and beyond. We invite you to persevere even when things get challenging in your own life and at the college in the classroom. And finally, we invite you to explore the interconnectedness of everything you're studying, of your work experience, of your lived experience, and see how you can build connections with others here, as well as across disciplines. Aside from these values, I know I said I chose FLCC for a reason, and one of the biggest reasons was just the supportive nature of this institution. We have a 15 to one student to faculty ratio, and our faculty are really some of the best, like Dr. Samantha shown here from Smart Systems Technology, so dedicated to the craft, to the science, and above all, to the students in that program and in related programs. And that's just one example of many faculty members and other staff here. I really like the community at FLCC, that there's ways to get involved, to have fun, to build leadership, to impact governance, to impact decisions, and to create a place for yourself. And an example of that is we have a lot of students who drive in and participate online, who still find community at FLCC. And then we have a really great partnership on campus where students can live at the Sweeps at Lateker Landing and participate in that intentional community here on campus and create their own place, their own home at FLCC. Finally, the third thing that I really value at FLCC is the applied learning commitment. So applied learning is important, right? It's internships, it's research, it's clinicals, it's paid work experience, it's gallery shows, capstone projects, and really every major at FLCC has some form of applied learning. I know when I was in college, I had an internship that I ended up working there for the next six years after I graduated at that nonprofit. So I understand how important these experiences are to explore what you like, what you don't like, and build connections outside of the classroom. And FLCC offers that. If you are still exploring FLCC, there are lots of ways to explore. You can make a visit on campus. You can come to one of our campus centers like Victor, Newark, Geneva. You can make an appointment one-on-one -on -one online or connect with some of our other recordings and our other web pages. So I hope you can continue to connect and that you enjoy as well getting to know these institutions better, these different locations better as you become a student at FLCC. So if you're ready to enroll, I am going to go in detail into some of the next steps. And a really important reminder is just that you're not going to be alone through these steps. There are lots of offices along the way and we can take things in phases so that you feel comfortable with each step as you get closer to joining and then closer to graduation. So 
One of the very first things is to let us know you're coming. And how you would do that is through a student portal called MyFLCC. And if you've been here before, or if you had set up your account earlier, you might have seen WebAdvisor. MyFLCC is a new version of WebAdvisor. Old logins and information have been migrated over. I think you'll really like the user interface in MyFLCC. We'll show it in a few slides. MyFLCC is where you'll go to see your checklist. When you're a student, you'll be able to track your degree progress there. And as a very first step, you can do the intent to enroll form. That's how you confirm your plan. There is no deposit fee to do so. If you would like as well, another early confirmation is to do the separate housing application if you want to live in the suites. Housing's not required, so there's no need to opt out of anything if you aren't planning to live in the suites. So when you go to MyFLCC, this is the very first thing you see. And again, if you have your username and password already from WebAdvisor or you already set MyFLCC up, you can dive right in. If not, then it's very simple. You can either find your username on your acceptance letter if you were accepted recently, or you can obtain it through the link in the screen and then obtain your password. They'll email you a temporary PIN, you'll set a new password, try and keep it very simple for you. With that login, that's your student email login, that's Blackboard or Brightspace now, the different learning systems and modules. That is how you'll navigate each and every part of your time here at FLCC online. Once you get into my FLCC, at the very top of the screen, you'll see your personalized to-do list. And this updates pretty fast. It's not instantaneous, like submitting a transcript and then it shows, but it updates pretty fast. For example, once you do the intent to enroll, in about 15 minutes, the system refreshes and shows some new to-do list items that are appropriate for an incoming student. Like the link right up there on top, it'll show instead to sign up for testing and registration as a new student. Exploring some of these common next steps and what they mean. Um, going a bit out of order, but because I mentioned it, um, the sign up for testing and registration, you'll have a new student registration appointment with an academic advisor, faculty member, advisor. And in that, you will pick a date and time either to come in person or talk over the phone to learn about your class schedule and that process and to actually choose your classes. Not everyone needs to do placement testing. That would be to see your level in English, math, or music theory, depending on what you're studying. And they will let you know if you need to. So concentrate first on getting that appointment for registration, and then stay tuned for further updates and steps that you need. You will also see a link there to the student health portal, Pyramid, where you can upload documents like your immunization record, your COVID record, if you're taking classes in person, or just sign a statement if, if you are taking classes 100% online and don't need to upload all your records. Another important document is a certificate of residency. This um, is for New York State residents to be able to prove their in-state tuition rate and be able to show eligibility for that county and state funding. The form is done with the county. You can't do it too early. You have to wait a little bit depending on when you're watching this video. It can be dated no earlier than 60 days before the start of classes to show that you're a current resident here in New York. Finally, the e-bill. Another thing that depending when you're watching this, you may or may not be able to access, that's your bill for tuition and fees, and that's generated after you register and after it's been updated for the upcoming term. So usually in like July for the fall um, is when you would see these e-bills online through MyFLCC. And we'll also email you when that's available and with reminders as there's deadlines. Financial aid can help reduce that bill. So this is now showing the screen for financial aid. And there's an, another checklist right here. And if you haven't submitted the FAFSA yet, New York State aid application yet, you can get assistance on that. You can contact their financial aid office and set up an appointment through the visit page or through them with the FAFSA specialist. And they will help you get it done so that you can see what aid you're eligible for and explore all of that. They'll also show if there's any other steps, like if after submitting the FAFSA, they need other documents. Or if that's all complete and your application's been reviewed, you can actually review your financial aid award package. And grants like Pell, TEP, those are automatically accepted. If you were to want a loan, you'd have to complete the steps. 
to accept that loan and do the counseling and promissory note. There's also even more financial aid information. If you scroll around or see that menu there that I'm pointing to, you can access some additional financial aid links. Um, importantly, if you're used to seeing a PDF form or a, a printout of your financial aid award, the cost, the aid, you can download and print an award letter right here from FLCC. So we just covered a bunch of steps really quickly. But as I said, you're not in and alone. Even before you're an FLCC student, there are offices that will help you with next steps. So the one stop, for example, the one stop in student services is an excellent resource for questions about all things enrollment checklist related, like the certificate of residency, health forms, billing, they can help. You can call them, you can email them, you can visit them at the counter, and they'll help walk you through those steps. In addition, we talked about advisors. They're in the Academic Advising Career and Transfer Services Office Act. They are there to help with new student registration, but then they're there for the rest of your FLCC career to help with um, your graduation tracking, if you need to change your major, if you want advice on your career or, or on transferring to your next school, they'll be able to meet with you and answer your questions as you progress through the program. ASAP is another excellent office, the Academic Success and Access Programs. They offer free tutoring. Um, there's different centers you can visit for assistance. And there's a couple of programs that you can apply for or opportunities you can apply for before being a student. EOP is a state funded program. And so if you were a, a first time college student in a fall semester, they might be able to welcome you with a bridge program and help with additional assistance financially and academically. EOP does require a separate application. So if you're intrigued by this or you've heard about it before, be sure to check out their website flcc.edu slash EOP. Um, also, if you had an IEP in high school or you want to explore different accommodations or need disability services, our disability services office has an online form and you can apply for any necessary accommodations. You can talk to them if you have questions about accommodations and they can get that set up for you before classes start or once you're a student, if you discover something that's needed. And then, we talked at the start about how important community is. If there's a club you're curious about or that you want to start, and certainly if there's a team that you want to try out for and join within our athletics department, you can reach out to Student Life and Athletics, can explore what's needed, connect with a coach, and they'll answer your question. So thanks for sticking with me through this um, rapid fire Accepted Student Day webinar. We are here to continue answering your questions. You can email us, you can call us, you can request an online meeting through our visit page, and we'll continue to explore FLCC and answer your questions to get you ready for your next semester. Thanks for watching and looking forward to seeing you on campus.